All right, guys, I wanted to show you this high pressure that's been sitting offshore when we talked to the tropics. This thing's been sitting out here and it's been pushing back towards the west. And because it's shaped like this, kind of squash, it's been actually been cool in the northeast. We've had westerly winds because of this. But this little low here that had a 20% chance of developing is not going to develop now. And then that low that came off of Africa actually has a 30% chance of developing right in this area. It looks like it wants to recurve. This low is weakening this western edge of this, so this part's going away. And that's what's helping us get more easterly winds to get us back into a typical summertime pattern. So the tropics are actually helping us. And in fact, that other low is the one that will be bringing the extra moisture over the next couple of days. This is the one that some, I mean, look, it doesn't look important at all, but some models do try and develop it, but most models, if they do develop, recurve it out towards Bermuda or so. Look, August 1st is coming up. That's really when the season gets started. We peak statistically on September 10th. In July, you see we're looking at several areas, uh, Gulf of Mexico, east of us. But look at the difference from July to August. Things really start to heat up. So we'll be on top of it every day to keep you informed about everything going on in the tropics.